Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome to Tesla's Wild. My name is Colin. I hope y'all are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, I'm so glad you found us. I hope you enjoy what you see here today, and I hope you stick around for future videos. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It does truly mean the world to me. We're up to 675 subscribers, which is just incredible. Y'all are blowing my mind. Thank you so much. A couple of housekeeping items. First of all, always remember there is a comment down below with timestamps where you can hop through the video if you don't want to watch the whole thing. Second of all, I know that I do introduce these videos saying Tesla's wild. Before I started the channel, I couldn't come up with a name, so I changed it three times, and I'm on a 90-day name change ban. So whenever we get to 90 days here, I will switch the channel name over to be Tesla's wild, but I can't for the time being. Uh, those are the two housekeeping things. So what do we have for you today? I did order the easy close spring for the frunk. That did just come today. Also to give credit where credit is due, the entire kit uh, was apparently conceived by I1 Tesla, as well as finding the easy close spring that we're gonna install today. It's gonna be a relatively short video. We're just gonna open this up, check the spring out, get it installed and see how well it does, how much easier it is to close the frunk. So All right, so I have the package here, but I just realized that I don't have anything to open it with. So I'm going to go run and grab that really quick. We'll also demo how hard it is to close, although it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you how hard it is exactly to close. I wish I had some force sensors, but I don't. You're just going to have to take my word for it that pushing down on the frunk is pretty difficult. Let's go get something to open this package with. Where is summer? These will do. Oh, it is raining, so I get to install this in the rain. All right, let's get this opened up. It is from Hugo's Online. Bum, 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 bum. All right, and here they are. C29 Springs, 11 30 seconds by one and a half by 0 0.028. Utility X something spring. Not gonna pretend to know what that means. Uh, let's get the front popped open here. It does open pretty violently, so I'll show you from the inside first of all can hear it release there's just a lot of tension on that spring so let's get up to the front here why do you have to be raining don't want to close that in there but we'll close everything up so to close the frunk you definitely need to put like full force on both sides here and they tell you to do that so that you don't end up bending the hood so yeah we're gonna do that but yeah you can see hear it and uh, it's just difficult to do so we're gonna open it up and show you how loud it is to open from out here Frunk, maybe. Okay. You can just hear how loudly it pops when it opens like that. So, okay, so inside of here is where we're mainly gonna be working. Um, this is just held in by a couple of clips here. So all that's really necessary is just getting your thumbs in here and popping up on it a little bit. Okay, there is a wire attached to the button, the trunk release here, but this is the spring that we are talking about right in here. So. We're gonna go and grab some needle nose pliers so that we can get this out. Just latches right on to these guys here. So we're just gonna grab on, pop this guy off, and that's it. Okay, and now we're gonna grab the one of these springs. It is a two pack, so if anybody wants my extra one, definitely send a comment and I will be happy to send it to you. Maybe. Okay, so this should be able to be done by hand. Uh, we should be able to just pop it on without doing much of anything. Okay, that is on. So let's see how much easier this is to close. I have heard that you are able to do this now with one hand. So we have that on. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. That is so nice, so much easier. Uh, let's see how it does when we open it here. Frunk. Oh, listen to that. Props to i1 Tesla. This is a great, great idea. Makes it so much easier to close. Extremely easy install. As you can see, there's just some clips on this guy. So once you get it installed, we just pop it right back into place and we're good to go. So we're gonna save these and the extra spring, but it is now very easy to just close this with one hand, which is so nice. Let's try that one more time from the side. Frunk. Oh, 
I don't know if you guys can tell how much less noisy that is, but it is really, really great. And as I've said multiple times now, you can shut it with one hand. Oh, that is phenomenal. Let's check out how it sounds from the inside of the vehicle. Okay, okay, it's not raining that much. Now, from the inside, let's see how much less violent it is from in here. I'm gonna turn these off so we don't have that making noise. so much better. I1 Tesla, you are amazing. Thank you so much for finding these springs. Thank you for coming up with the automatic open frunk and trunk kit. You are the best. But yes, as I said, one hand close. No worries about bending. That's it. I'm going to get out of the rain here. So we're going to flip this camera back around and we're going to finish this video. As you guys saw, we got the C29 spring installed in the frunk there, just right under that compartment where the emergency release is. Very, very simple install. All you need is just a pair of needle nose pliers to pull off that old spring, and then you just stretch the old one on. It makes closing the frunk infinitely better and easier. I1 Tesla did a phenomenal job. I, I really highly recommend you go check out his video on it as well. I thought I would just test it and see how easy it really is. A very cheap modification that you can do. It makes a world of difference when closing the frunk. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you all had a great day. We will see you next video.